Yes, we're talking pressure! <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Tupperware Pete, and yes, we're talking pressure! It puts people on the streets. It also cooks chooks, alright? So, what we're going to do is, this is the Tupperware pressure cooker. You've heard me seen, you've heard me talk about this before, right? Everything your slow cooker takes four, six, eight hours to do, this will do in 20 to 30 minutes. Everything your, your crock pot takes two or three or four hours to do, this will do in 20 to 30 minutes. It works on the efficiency of a microwave and all the health benefits of pressure cooking your food, right? It retains all of the nutrients, retains all of the vitamins, retains the colour and the texture. And when you lose the instruction booklet, <laughs> all the instructions are on the inside here, right? That's where all the f safety features are. All we're going to do is grab a chicken. I found this chicken for $8, $8.15, and I thought, it's going to cost me 12 bucks to buy a barbecue chook, which is very bland. I want to add in herbs and flavourings, so that's all I'm going to do. Now, when you do this, I've seen videos of people washing chicken. You don't need to wash chicken, people. <laughs> you don't need to wash your chook. All we're going to do is, we're going to open this up. And literally, oh, oh, chicken juice everywhere now. Let's just open this up. Like, that's it. This is, the hardest part is opening the bag. <laughs> we just open that bag up, remove this little meat pad out the way, and that, let's turn this breast side up. That's it. That's our chicken. We're going to pop it in the pressure cooker. You can pop your oven on for two hours if you want to, or just pop it in the pressure cooker for 30 minutes, right? Let me just wash my hands. Now, this here is... Let me see what size chicken this was. This was... Oh, it's 1.4 kilos of chicken, which means this is a size 14 chicken. Just washing the old hands. Luckily, Tupperware do tea towels. <laughs> that, this is a size 14 chicken. And I know that because it's 1.4 kilos. Did you know that? I didn't know that until I started selling Tupperware. A size 20 chicken is 2.0 kilos. A size 18 chicken is 1.8 kilos. That's how they work out the sizing, depending on how heavy it is, right? So we can just pop this into the pressure cooker. There's loads of Tupperware products that will halve the time, lessen the time of how to cook an entire chook, right? So... In here, when you're doing meat, or if you're doing mashed potatoes or veggies, we're just going to, oh, hang on, let's move the straw first. <laughs> we're just going to pop in. It's 150 mils of water, which is a half a cup plus a tablespoon, right? So we'll just pop that back into there. Sip on some water. So what we've got, that's it. Whether you're doing potatoes, a chicken, if you are doing like a fruit cake or an eight minute chocolate Tim Tam cake, you don't need to add any water to it. But if you are doing like a mash, like potatoes for mashed potato or a chicken or a pulled pork or a, a, a like a, a pot roast, just 150 mils of water is all you need. Just tap water is fine, right? Now let me just, I've just spotted a little bit of chicken juice. Let's just wipe this bench down over there, right? Too easy. Now, what we've got in here, let's pop this up into here. In my speedy mandolin, I have got my vent smart. I've got some lemons. Let's do let's do one lemon, right? So what I'm gonna do is you've got your three different options down the back. So you can one, two, oh hang on. One, two, three. Right? And that basically gives you the thickness. There's three different sizes. There is a larger mandolin that does nine different thicknesses. So you can do one millimeter all the way up to nine millimeter. This one is just like a, it's just a speedy one. So it's got three different thicknesses up into there. And you just, that lowers and high, heightens up the blade, right? So all we're going to do is grab our lemon, grab our guard. That's the step one. Step two, grab the guard. And step three, grab the guard. 
<laughs> now grab your lemon and all you have to do is grab your white piece oh tupperware down grab your white piece pop that on and you've got your lemon we are going to just do this in that how quickly unless you're like a michelin chef how quickly can you get lemon and look it's all exactly the same size right so we're just going to pop some of that around around the outside around the outside around the outside we've got some lemon into here right? oh there's the spices down let's throw the rest of this in here and look that's the wastage like zero may as well throw that in right so here we got our lemon we're going to pop this over here all the way around that's going to add in it's going to steam and pressure cook and it's going to be absolutely gorgeous right there's our i've just popped that around around the outside there's an entire lemon right now what we've got in here in my vent smart container i've just got some thyme oh and thyme it tastes yummy with rosemary and thyme is such a good herb so we've got some thyme Let's just throw in stalks and all. Throw in some thyme. Oh, <laughs> and thyme is gonna be yum. Oh, throw in some thyme and let's throw in some rosemary. Because that just, they're really earthy flavours. So we'll throw in stalks and all. Just throw the lot into there. Stalks and all. Okay. Rosemary and thyme. Let's throw a bit more thyme in because we've got it and we may as well, and I love the flavour of thyme. Throw that all the way around in there. Yum. Oh, right. Then what we've got is, in here. Let's move this out the way. This is my garlic keeper and my onion keeper. So I am going to slice up an onion, just roughly, and We'll just pop this away over here because we want that to flavour through and we're going to eat that as well, right? So, actually, we might throw this through the mandolin too. I'll show you how we do this. I mean, it's really, it's dead easy. All right, all we're going to do is, yeah, my, let's do this. Let's move that out of the way. We've got one of these happening here. Let's pop this down here. Can you see what I'm doing here? Let's do this and we will... There's the onion. An entire onion finely sliced. And we're just going to throw some of that around into there as well. Yummy. That's going to add in some beautiful flavour into there. We will pop this back over here. I've got some garlic. Now, when you buy your garlic, just remove that netting and we'll pop it into here. Garlic needs... A little bit darker space than an onion. They both need dark, which is why they've got that into there. With the garlic press, just keep that in with your garlic crusher so you don't have to keep running around and <laughs> figuring out where your garlic crusher is, right? And then, because they stack up beautifully, they will keep all of the skins and mess inside there. You don't have to keep cleaning up your pantry or the bottom of your pantry. All the, the skins just stay straight into there, right? And all I'm going to do is... Actually, let's grab this over here and just peel this off. I will, will I've got my, my chop collector. This is my the Tupperware scrap collector. So we can pop all of the pops into here. There are a few cloves and we will just, there we go, pop them into there. We've got some clove over there, clove over here. Put the clove over here and the clove over there. yum oh. And we will just peel some of this off. I love garlic. I could eat garlic like a vegetable. Right? Well, I don't know why they only sell three at a time. Like normally when I go to the fruit shop, I'm buying like big bags of it. And you can freeze garlic. You can pop it through the supersonic chopper with a little bit of oil. Pop it in your Tupperware ice cube trays. That will freeze beautifully. We'll just throw in some garlic cloves into there. Um, or you can just pop it into your garlic keeper. There's nothing better than fresh garlic. And uh, that way, you know what you're eating. You don't, you're not going to end up eating acidity regulator, which I don't even know what that is, right? And 
it's going to be fresh, you're going to know what you're eating, and the flavour is going to be so much more true to form than if you're eating garlic out of a jar. All right. Let's just pop this over here. There is our garlic. Yum, love it. Absolutely brilliant. So we'll pop this in here. Just a few cloves. Spread that around, encouraging young things to grow. <laughs> I said hello, chicken. All right, let's move this out of the way. Then, you spin me right round, baby, right round. It's a spicy carousel, round, round, round. This is where you can have fun with I'm spinning around. You can add whatever flavourings that you like. I've got some cracked black pepper. Let's add some of that into there, onto the mix. Yum, I pop that around into there. Let's throw a little bit of Celtic sea salt into here. Why not? We've got it, so we may as well pop it into there, right? A little bit of that. Then we've got, what's this? Oh, they shouted out a yum! Paprika, 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 yum, yum. We got some sweet paprika. We'll throw that into the top in there. Oh, yum, 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 yum. And you know what we'll do? We've got some squeezy water bottle, uh, some squeezy water bottles. These are the, uh, I can't remember what they're called. I call them the squeezy bottles, but I've got sweet chili sauce. You can have barbecue sauce, tomato sauce, honey. You can make up your own salad dressings and vinaigrettes, flavoured oils. I've got some sweet chili sauce. I'm just going to pop some of that into there and honey, honey, how you thrill me, honey, honey, yum, 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 and we'll throw in some honey. So it's like a, it's like a herbed honey lemon chicken and instead of our oven being on for two hours, we're going to grab the top. Here, let me show you. Look, it's going to be delicious. It's under the fill line up the top, so that's perfect. We've got 150 mils of water in there, so that's perfect. What you do is you find the arrow up the top and then the arrow down the... See here? See, there's an arrow there. You turn it that way to pop the top off. You pop that way to pop the top on. You line them up with the arrows on the bottom. Give that a twist. Oh, and you lock the top on. And instead of having your oven on for two hours... Just pop it in the microwave for 30 minutes. You've got the health benefits of pressure cooking your food. And then I can let that cool. I can pop that into my Tupperware Clearmates or my Tupperware One Touch Fresh. And I've got my cold meat for the entire week. That will actually last in my week in my fridge for about two weeks, right? So we just pop that straight into here. Popped it on for 30 minutes. I can now go and have a bath. I can walk the dog. I can read some books. I can Netflix. I can do whatever I want to do. When that goes ding, I don't have to quick, quick, dinner's ready. No, just let it sit there. It'll, it'll be good. <laughs> it'll finish off the cooking process. That pressure indicator will go into the down position and you can attend to it whenever you're ready. Don't be deterred. Don't have to eat dinner just because it goes ding, right? That's why I love Tupperware. It's got the flexibility to fit in with your own lifestyle and you can still maintain <laughs> a trim figure. <laughs> And look after that hip pocket, all right? If you've got any questions or suggestions, please let me know. And in the meantime, you know what you need to do. Forget your troubles and get happy. Dance your cares away. Shout out and get happy. I'll cook for you another day. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.